He goes on to say, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Notice he didn't say, Blessed are those who are persecuted. He says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. So that righteousness we established last week, here's a really easy way for me to summarize righteousness. In God's eyes, you want to be seen as right. So then you're following the way that God tells you to live. You're following God's statutes and commandments. You're living under the authority of His Word. And so Jesus says, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness. So He's saying, as you're trying to live for God, you're going to be persecuted. And you should be considered a blessed person because of that. But I wanted to define persecution for you. It means hostility and ill treatment, especially, especially on the basis of some kind of a belief. You see, in these eight Beatitudes, Jesus comforts, in this eighth Beatitude, Jesus comforts those who have suffered undeserved persecution. He goes on and makes this ninth claim, which is attached to the eighth claim, where he says, Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You see, Jesus elaborates in, in his following follow-up statement here by saying, Blessed are you when, when people insult you. Blessed are you when people persecute you. Blessed are you when people say all kinds of false and evil things against you for my sake, right? Because of me. So like if you have persecution in your life or people are speaking things about you because of the way you act and the way you live, that's not a representation of Jesus Christ. Jesus is saying you will be persecuted because you're a follower of mine. Thank you.